TK421, wire two at your post. TK421, do you copy? Hello, this is pilot TK421 leaving my post to bring you a post. Alright everybody, I've got some heavily medicated gameplay coming up for you from my Steam account here. I have a little bit of time before my next match here, so I thought I would take you on a brief tour of the hangar. And I have my Nodens here, as always, on this hangar. Uh, I'm running level 12 retaliators on it. And I've got two level 10 self-fix units and a level 10 cannibal reactor with a level 9 plated armor kit. And next up, I have my Warrior Typhon here. I decided to run the Quad Pulsar build on it. The Pulsar and Wasp combo works really, really well, so I wanted to try this out and see what it like, what it's like. I've got uh, Quad Sinister Pulsars on it, just because it looks really, really nice, I think. But here's a look at the uh, modules. I've got an anti-control and two balanced units and a quantum radar. And here's a quick look at the pilot skills. And next up we have my scorpion here. And I'm still running the ivory atomizer and futuristic quarker setup on it. It seems to work you know, pretty good for me and whatnot. Don't mind the uh, cryos and shotguns and whatnot. The flame throwers, however, I just can't seem to hit anybody with them. So I'm just going to leave those alone for now until I learn how to aim with those things. But uh, here's a quick look at the uh, pilot skill or the uh, modules. I've got uh, anti control, I've got two overdrive units, and an advanced repair unit. And here's a quick look at my uh, pilot skills. Apparently I need to promote him. And next up we have my Raker. I'm running Shredders and a Biomechanoid Nucleon. The Shredders are Mark II Level 2 and the Nucleon is Level 11. Here's a quick look at the modules with an Anti-Control, a Heavy Armor Kit, and an Advanced Repair Unit. And here's a quick look at the pilot skills for my Raker. Next up we have my Crimson Hawk. Uh, I really, really like this setup for it. I've got level 9 Dragon Marques and two level 8 Hornets. And yeah, it works really, really well for uh, you know, my playstyle and whatnot, being as I'm sort of mid-range support sniper type person. And here's a look at the uh, modules for it. I got a heavy armor kit and an anti-control and I'm running an advanced repair unit. And here's a quick look at the uh, pilot skills. And last but not least, we have my gift bringer Fenrir here. And I really, really like the uh, Sinister Pulsar and Tempest combo on it. It's one of my favorite builds for the Fenrir. Um, I don't know, I seem to have a lot of fun with it at times, so uh, yeah, I keep it on me and works quite well, I think. Uh, here's a quick look at the modules. I've got anti-control, two R overdrive units, and an advanced repair unit. And here's a look at the pilot skills. And while I'm sitting here looking at these pilot skills, it reminds me that a viewer was asking uh, what are some good ways to reduce your power cell usage in battle? And two ways that I know of that uh, work really well besides, well, just not pressing the button, is uh, Quartermaster. That one reduces the amount of power cells it costs to use your active modules. And Modules Expert. Um, the modules expert will allow your active module to last 25% longer, which uh, yeah keeps you from using your uh, active module a lot faster. So it just delays you from using it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, other than that, um, I don't know. There's not really anything I can you know tell you tip-wise, other than you know just don't use 
power cells as much. Um, I don't know if you find yourself accidentally hitting the power cell button on PC. Anyway, you could uh, try pulling the Q off of your keyboard or something, but uh, that might cause problems later on with other things. But uh, yeah, mostly I just try to run uh, healing units overall. I've got uh, quantum raiders on my snipers and stuff like that. i got to try and find somebody with a uh, shield breaker to try out and figure out a good build for a shield breaker unit because uh, seeing a lot of pantheons out there. But uh, yeah, I use the uh, healing units because, well, they take a little bit longer to use and I'll be able to use again type of thing and well not much else use for uh, any of the other ones at the moment at, for myself anyway but uh, yeah anyway uh, I should probably duck on out of here because I'm probably getting close to being out of time here but uh, yeah I hope you all enjoy the gameplay and stick around <laughs>